when he was like baby please i was like yes Dwayne, go get your girl but i mean I, and for a minute there i was a little scared i was like is he gonna do it like come on bro go ahead and interrupt this wedding and when he's like you know will you take you know Dwayne to be your lawfully wedded husband to, and she's like i do i do <laughs> Oh my god, that was such a good time. What's up, y'all? What is up? It's your girl EJ, and welcome to the recap, y'all. Now, today we're gonna be celebrating a different world. Now, if you didn't know, a different world turned 35, y'all. Yes. 35. I believe that this show is a show that is truly evergreen, one that will last forever and ever. I believe that it transcends time and eras, and I believe that it is relevant no matter what age you are. I believe that you can truly get something out of this show. I personally think that this show was probably hands down one of the best television shows of all time, and I think it deserves to be celebrated. So on this video, guys, we are going to be talking about some of my favorite moments of a different world so I'm gonna be giving you five of them let me know what your favorite moments from a different world were what your favorite episodes were what you enjoyed about the show what you loved about the show and all that good stuff down in the comments guys let's get into it Okay, y'all, so keeping it real, I have a ton of moments that I love from a different world, but we're going to stick to five of them today. Okay, so one of my most favorite moments from a different world was the time when Whitley tried to save Denzel. Uh, the dorm or something was on fire. Dwayne comes in to get her, and she's trying to save all of these things. And then when as he has to pick her up and take her out, and she grabs the Denzel photo, that was hilarious. Wait, wait, wait. Forget it, everybody else is outside. I need a few essentials. My family album, my art portfolio, Whitley. my main jacket. Oh. Whitley, would you come on? I'm coming, I'm coming. We're leaving coming. now. Come on, we gotta go. I just have to get my bridal plan. Oh, no, there will be no going back for that, Whitley. Uh-uh. Denzel! <laughs> Another one of my favorite moments was the episode after Whitley and Dwayne had gotten married and she's thinking that she needs to try to spice up her marriage or whatever. And she's thinking that, you know, that there's something wrong. And so she decides that she's going to come to the pit and she's going to have on, of course, her signature, you know, coat, her her fur, because, you know, she love her fur. And I she has that, like on a piece of lingerie or something under it. And she... <laughs> opens it up in front of Dwayne and Dwayne is like get out of here with my students you know what I'm saying and he like pushes her back up and she's talking about how but I saw it in Cosmo or something like that and that was so hilarious that was definitely one of my favorite moments from the show lunch. I'm just grabbing a cup of coffee how'd you like to grab this I bought Velma one of those, but she wouldn't wear it. Okay, so another one of my favorite moments from the show was when it was like a bittersweet moment. So I'm not going to say it was like favorite, favorite, but I just like the way that they did it because I always love when Whitley breaks out into song, y'all. But on the episode where they're saying goodbye after Dwayne gets the job and, you know, they're saying goodbye and then Whitley breaks out into the... Um, end of the road song which I don't know what it was like it felt like that song was just like the one song that everybody said when they were trying to say goodbye but you know she talks about how you know they you know what everything that Hillman taught her you know and all the different things that she learned and I don't know I just love that moment it was such a great moment and it was probably one of my favorite moments of the show as well you challenged my world views and let me see that I was right all along. <laughs> Kimmy, you taught me about friendship. We come to the okay, so another moment that I truly enjoyed on the show was when Whitley actually tells Dwayne that she's pregnant. Now, when she tells Dwayne that she's pregnant, of course, you know, Dwayne had just 
pitch this big idea of the grammar ball game. And so she, you know, so they play grammar ball and, you know, she does the whole thing and then she tells him that she's pregnant. And it's just a cute moment because we've watched this couple go through so many different things. They finally make it down the aisle and then now they're actually pregnant. And it was just one of my favorite moments, y'all. Right. right. Give me a now. I. Ah. Ah. That's good. Now the ball is a verb. Give me a verb. Am. Am. That's good. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part, the that's adjective. Right, that's right. It's the type of spin that the pitcher puts on the ball. So pitch me that adjective, that last adjective. Come on, any old adjective, baby. Pregnant! Put them all together. What do you got? I am pregnant. I am pregnant. Touchdown. Then you do right now. And then last but certainly not least, y'all, is the moment that Dwayne actually interrupts that wedding. Oh, my God. That was probably like the best wedding ever. Dwayne interrupts the wedding and is like <laughs> when he was like, baby, please. I was like, yes, Dwayne, go get your girl. But I mean, I, for a minute there, I was a little scared. I was like, is he going to do it? Like, come on, bro, go ahead. Interrupt this wedding. And when he's like, you know, will you take, you know, Dwayne to be your lawfully wedded husband? And she's like, I do. I do. <laughs> Oh my god, that was such a good time. I don't know, yeah. I love this show. Like seriously, that was probably hands down the best wedding on television that has ever happened. I don't think there is ever a wedding to top that particular moment. You know what I'm saying? Just die. Will you have me, Dwayne, as your lawfully wedded husband from this day forth to having a home and richer for poorer? Baby, please. Please. I do. Okay, y'all, so those are some of my top favorite moments from a different world. Let me know what some of yours are by leaving them down in the comments. And until next time, guys.